Hello, welcome to the dinner party. I'm uh, Jared Van Camp from Nelcoat Restaurant. Really happy to be here. Uh, what we're going to prepare right now is a chestnut agnolotti with butternut squash, braised duck, and an artisanal gouda cheese. I'm going to start with a hot pan with a little bit of olive oil. The reason we're doing a pasta is it features one of the really important ingredients here at Nelcoat is we buy local whole wheat from an organic farm and uh, mill it ourselves in our basement every day. So the pasta is of course made with the flour that we mill from that wheat. Got a little braised duck legs here from Indiana. Let those get a little crispy. Once we see them starting to get just a little bit of color, we're gonna add just a touch of butter to the pan. Not only for a little more caramelization and flavor, but just to release the duck meat. Any of those sticky bits are just gonna add real nice flavor to the final dish. Next thing we're gonna do is add a little butternut squash. Obviously in season. Once we get this to where we want, we're gonna add some braising liquid so it's all kind of married together. Then we're gonna drop the pasta. The pasta's fresh, we make it every day, so it'll, it'll go very quick. And again, this is just a little bit of the stock from the, uh, the braising liquid from the duck legs. Add some parsley. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty much ready. So we're gonna grab the Anya Lotis. So again, we have a flour mill in the basement of Nelcoat. We bring in local organic grains. It's from a, a place called Breslin Farms or uh, Spence Farms, two different farms that we use. They're whole grains. We mill them down to double zero fineness every day. Uh, what that means simply is it's very fine whole wheat uh, flour. And then we'll use that for our pastas, our pizzas, our bread, any preparation basically that we have flour in here at Nelcoat. The analogy I always use is it's the difference between uh, buying fresh, you know, whole black pepper and grinding it into a salad or into a dish versus buying pre-ground black pepper and shaking it in. The aroma, the flavor is gonna be much more intense if you're gonna mill it every day. So then we just marry the agnolotti and just a little bit more butter to round it out. The starch from those agnolotti and that flour that we're talking about. And again, in the agnolotti, it's a chestnut agnolotti, so the filling is made with roasted chestnuts and a little bit of a Parmesan cheese. So now that we've married everything in the pan, we're just gonna bring it over and plate it up. So we've got the agnolotis, again, chestnut filled, braised duck meat, butternut squash, a little bit of that kind of ragu. Then what we're gonna do is take some Brussels sprouts that we've got, just the leaves that we've gotten really crispy. Just kind of sprinkle those over the top. And then some artisanal gouda that's been aged for three years. Really nutty cheese, delicious. Rounds everything out really nice. We have the chestnut agnolotti with our local flour that we've milled in-house, butternut squash, crispy Brussels sprouts, braised duck, and artisanal gouda cheese.